What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Will Walker. I am here, Will's Take on Sports. Hey, this is a quick, very quick um, podcast I want to do. I want to explain how the bracket challenge works. I keep getting confusion. Listen, it's going to be po- it's posted on all different social media sites, be it Instagram, be it Twitter, be it Facebook. The picture is not interactive. You cannot click on the picture and pick your winner. You have to actually submit your make to make your picks. Simply leave it in the comment section. Say the sweet who you think will win the sweet sweet sixteen matchup out of the four regionals. There's four games. There will be three games in each regional. You will pick the two games that will happen either on Thursday and Friday. Pick the winner of those games, and then you will pick who will go to the final four, which is which is considered the elite eight or the regional final. That's it. Just make a pick for the two sweet sixteen games, and then. For the elite for the elite eight um, game, and that's simple. So you're going to make simply that would be f- three picks per bracket, four brackets. That's twelve picks. Whoever has the most brackets correct, that is who will get the twenty five dollar gift card. It is that simple. Again, the pictures on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are not interactive. All right. So I just want to make sure I got that clear and explain how it works. And again, you will have that. You will be eligible to win a twenty-five dollar gift card from the podcast. All right, it's just that simple. You know, just join. I mean, we had a person last week that joined. Um, Erica. I don't want to give out her last name or information, but anyway, she won last week. Again, it was. It, I guess you could say it was a little tougher last week because you had to pick more games, but still, um, is is. You're eligible to win. It's very simple. All you do is just leave your picks in the comment section. All right, now that I explained that, real quick, I want to go into some things that's been happening in sports um, in regards to uh, just just sports in general. All right, as far as the NBA is concerned, all right, LeBron James is not going to be in the playoffs this year. The former number six, as I call him, he will not be in the playoffs this year. He will be home sitting down watching uh, the playoffs if, he, if that's what he chooses to do But this year he will not participate In the playoffs so there will not be a ninth Straight finals Nine is my favorite number because I was born on the ninth day Anyway I digress So this is all going to move on And um, he will not be the playoffs The Celtics are a complete They're, they're just a complete sh- they're, they're in shambles I mean this team got manhandled by San Antonio the other night. I mean, these kids obviously don't want to play with Kyrie Irving. There's, there's so much dysfunction going on with that team. It is it is what it is. But, you know, you can't always live in the past. You know, hey, last year was last year. They did well last year without Kyrie, and you would think they would do better with him. But, hey, last year is last year. Sometimes you just got to let the past go and just keep moving forward. That's just the way that goes sometimes. You know, and when you keep holding on to that past, well, sometimes it comes out and it will bite you. It will definitely do that. Also, I uh, want to talk about, speaking of living in the past, I've been living in the Miami Dolphins' glory days. I really have. Miami Hurricanes, too. I've been living in both of, my, both of the teams that I root for, their glory days. Those glory days are gone, and I'm really ticked off right now with the Miami Dolphins because I saw an article on that four-letter network or the four-letter app that said, well, Brian, Flo- whatever the course the same is, and, and Chris Greer, they're, they're, they say tanking is not a great word. Okay, let's call it that you're trying to suck then. Don't call it tanking. You're trying to suck. Point, point blank period. You're trying to make sure that you suck just good enough to where you can be able to get a high draft pick. And I don't. And the the thing when I kind of skimmed through the article a little bit and read it, well, we're showing that we're going to be a competitor. We signed Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan, Fitz, Ryan Fitzpatrick. That dude's been a backup his entire fucking career, and he sucked. He sucked like he he had one good game at the start of the twenty <laughs> at the start of the twenty eighteen season, and that's it. But he sucks. He, he truly sucks. So I don't want to hear no such thing about Ryan Fitzpatrick and how the Dolphins think, hey, oh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. No, you stink. You guys really stink. And, and you're going to stink this year. You're going to get a high draft pick. And that's really pretty much what you're trying to do. Don't don't call it no other way. Whether you want to call it tanking, losing on purpose, or whatever you want to call it, that's exactly what the hell y'all are doing. Is that is that doggone simple. There's no other explanation for it. All right. So that's that's just it. I just want to get that quick take on on just on sports on sports period. But also, don't forget um, again submit your just submit your picks in the comment section. It'd be a lot easier, and um, it'd be no problem. I'll go ahead and calculate the picks. And again, um, 
whoever gets the most, whoever has the most picks, right, will win a $25 gift card from Will's Take on Sports. All right, listen, say a prayer for somebody because prayer changes things. I holler.